So our ankle strategy repositions the center of mass by moving the entire body through the production of the ankle torque. It's now considered a dynamic multi-link strategy, including the activation of proximal muscles. So in upright standing, this ankle strategy is usually sufficient to correct small deviations in our center of mass and is primarily adopted during less demanding balance tasks. Whereas our hip strategy controls the center of mass by producing large and rapid motion at the hip joints with antiphase rotations at the ankle. Again, used to restore balance when the perturbation is rapid, generally larger in amplitude, and if the support surface is short relative to the foot length. We use a reach or a step when our fixed support strategies are insufficient to recover partial equilibrium. We realign the base of support. We need to realign the base of support under the center of mass. In many conditions, our stepping or our reaching occurs well before the center of mass approaches the limits of stability with respect to the base of support. These strategies can be under voluntary control and are influenced by the initial conditions such as safety and location of the new support. 